What's going on everyone? Welcome to Box Attack. I'm Dom and today we have a pretty epic pop haul, some exclusives that I picked up, some things that came in the mail, and don't forget to join the Box Attack Universe Facebook group which is linked below in the description if you want to hang out with a bunch of cool people because there's tons of cool people there, I promise you. And uh... Well, you should just do it. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so first up, this is, well, kind of an oldie, but a goodie. We have the Flocked Energizer Bunny, and I am actually pretty stoked about this pop. Well, I mean, look at it. It's, how can you go wrong? Still going Energizer Max. It's kind of an advertisement for their battery. If, if you, I mean, realistically, having this pop is just like a billboard in your home. Uh, for this. I love how the 73 on here is actually a little drum, you know, like like he's holding a little drum And this was a Funko shop exclusive as you can see But if we want to just pop this open real quick and get into the box I'll show you a little bit about it and here he is Mr. Flocked Energizer Bunny and boy does it look super sweet. I think that this is a cool cool flock job and you know we even have like like the irregular hairs here sticking up on the back that are also flocked and of course the sunglasses how can you forget about the sunglasses this is like a hollywood hq pop right <laughs> if you guys catch that joke um this little mallet here is also flocked as well and then we have the drum that says energizer on both sides and of course he's wearing his little flip flops here i don't know i think this is a cool pop I think it's a pretty good one to have in your collection. I think it's still available on, on Funko Shop, so you could easily pick one up. It's definitely worth it. It may not be super limited or anything like that, but I think it's definitely worth giving a look. But we got some other cool things to talk about. Next up here, we have the MTV Moon Person. And you can see here, this is an icon pop, by the way, number 18 in the line. You can see that we have this like holographic uh, text up here for MTV and on the letters down here and the number at the top which just looks freaking phenomenal the box it, it, This is a really cool well-designed pop box and I know it's just a box and sometimes that's silly, but It is a pretty good looking box and I actually found out one interesting thing about this pop It was actually meant to be an exclusive for another store. So real quick I don't know you probably can't see that but Back here, behind this classic icon sticker is a Walmart sticker. It's actually kind of, um, well, let's see if I can just get this off enough to show you. You can see it right there. See the Walmart sticker peeking out at the corner? Okay, so when I got this pop in the mail, it was, the sticker was a little crooked, and I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix the sticker. I'm gonna take a heat gun and I'm gonna take it off, fix the sticker. Lo and behold, I find a Walmart sticker underneath it. And I looked, uh, I posted on Instagram about this. You can check the post link below. And I looked back behind here, which is hard for you to see, but there's a full on Walmart sticker on the box. <laughs> and so this, this, I guess was supposed to be a Walmart exclusive, um, but this is the moon person. And I mean, this is, it's just like, the award that they handed out. Like this is exactly a miniature popped version of the MTV Music Award um, that they would hand out with the moon person. And uh, while it's nothing special and it's just a common pop, even though there is a sticker on said common pop, this is childhood right here. Like this is growing up for me. MTV Music Awards, the moon man awards, or you know, they, they, it's moon person now, but you guys get the point. I think that this is pretty well done, even though it's just like a silvery pop. I mean, there's really nothing special about this. It deserves to be out of box. It's probably gonna go on the shelf back there. So um, just, just so you know that, but I think that it's very, very awesome all around. MTV Moon Person, definitely a win. All right, so next up we have All For One. This is a big Apple Collectibles exclusive. And boy, I never thought I would be ordering from Big Apple Collectibles again because they had they had some problems previously and I had some problems with them with stuff that I had ordered and they've actually turned it around and have become like somewhat of a decent company according to this shipment so far. This came in mint condition in a pop protector. Cool Big Apple Collectibles sticker. I do like that. And I, I really can't complain. Like, so this is all for one. I showed you guys the common uh, previously in a video, but this is the exclusive here. 
and it's pretty rad. I mean, it, it, I think that this is this is definitely one of my favorite villains, um, and it's just really cool looking pop. So I, I really don't have much else to say about it. It's obviously very very similar to the uh, the common, except for the left hand over here. But uh, I mean, how can you go wrong? My Hero Academia, um, all for one. Definitely a great villain, but. I do have another My Hero Pop. Boom, that is this lady, Mount Lady right here. This was a Hot Topic exclusive. It just came out not too long ago. And well, let's, uh, let's get her out. This is a six inch pop. If you couldn't tell, it's a pretty big pop. And I scooped this up at Hot Topic. And look at that, she comes with a stand, which I don't know if I have or have seen any six inch pops that come with a stand, I'm not sure which ones there are out there. I'm sure there are some. I'm not even gonna put the stand on. This is Mount Lady though. And you can see she's just giving the typical <laughs> peace sign here. I think it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's a very, very top heavy pop. It will stand up without the stand, but as you can see, it's not, it doesn't do that good of a job at that. So having the stand here in the bottom is definitely crucial. That is a very, very hard stand to get in there. Wow, okay. Put the stand in and you're good to go. This is Mount Lady and I think that she looks pretty rad. Obviously, I'm glad they did this as a six inch pop because, you know, to scale somewhat, uh, somewhat, but <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty awesome. And yet another one that goes down into my uh, My Hero Academia collection, which is off screen that you can't see. Though, I don't like six, six inch pops because they just mess up my, you know, my flow on the wall. Anyway, we have Mount Lady and I have two other pops to show you right here. And they're both inside of sorters. So getting into here, let's see which one should I open up first. Okay, we're gonna go into this one right here. And we have Red Sun Batman. This is another Batman pop that's part of the 80 year series, as you can see there on the box. Black box, this cardboard is a little bit different than some of the other black box Batmans, but I do think that it's pretty awesome. And it is a common also, uh, so you can kind of grab it wherever. But this is Red Sun Batman. You can see he's got his little, uh, ice pick grappling hook thing in his hand and he's putting out the bro fist apparently um, but his suit looks pretty cool and of course we have the cape and it's kind of weathered on the back we have some little weather marks and uh, he's wearing a little bat beanie like uh, yes he's wearing a bat beanie uh, but it's pretty cool i like this i'm a fan of the marvel or sorry excuse me I am a fan of the Batman 80 years stuff and well, we have one more of those right here. This, my friends, is Batmite. And doesn't he just look so cute? Batmite, nice black box. Same weird, slightly different cardboard than we've seen with some of the other, I don't know how to explain it. It's just different. And if you've picked up any of these, you know what I'm talking about, but Batmite, we have in here and he comes with a little stand it's built in already on there so you can stand him up and he's just like hi i'm that light. or something like that <laughs> looks pretty cool though i love the little shoes <laughs> he's just a, a cute looking pop all around bat might i think this is great uh, i'm not going to spend too much time on that because well batman can get kind of repetitive and i understand that so these are my pickups, guys. These are my, this is the haul, my pickups, um, mail call, whatever you want to call it. I want to know which one of these is your favorite though. Let me know in the comments section below and a big shout out to everybody, everybody over on Patreon, part of the Box Attack Army, where I send them pops every month out of my personal collection. And you can be a part of that too if you click the link in the description. There's always cool stuff happening there. So check that out. Join the Facebook group, link below as well. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I really appreciate it. Once again, this has been Box Attack. I'm Dom and we'll catch you later.